So now we're going to look at getting the um, ideal gas equation, BB equals NKT, from a quantum mechanical um, perspective. But we're still going to use the internal energy of an ideal gas equals uh, 3 halves NKT um, from the equipartition theorem. So, um, in order to do this, we're going to look at the wave functions of the particles within the gas. Each one we're going to look at as a particle inside of a um, inside of a an infinite square well, sort of, except in three dimensions. And so, we're going to be using the energies from uh, the infinite square well equation. Um, so um, the infinite square well, you end up with um, some normalization constant times the sine of an x pi x over l. This will be a cubical box, three sides of length l and y pi y also length l and z pi z over l so this is our wave function so to get the energy we're going to apply the Hamiltonian uh, to this wave function so in, um, in uh, three dimensions, um, all right, we have a little bit of background noise. It's all right. So our Hamiltonian um, p squared over two m plus the potential, which um, this part will be zero inside the box. All right, so our Hamiltonian operator, um, the uh, uh, P is minus I h bar d x, uh, like this in one dimension, but in, uh, in, um, in this there's a, there's a 2m. Is squared. I kind of didn't write this particularly clear because this is outside the. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. All right, but in three dimensions, we have um, basically we end up with a minus h bar squared over 2m um, times the uh, Laplacian. So in three dimensions, this is what we would apply to this three-dimensional wave function. All right, and in the end, um, we're going to use the Schrodinger equation, time independent. Um, when we apply this to our wave function, we get the energy uh, times the wave function again. So we're going to apply this to our wave function here, and I'm going to go ahead and ignore the. Um, all the uh, the A and stuff because that that's going to be the same on each side. We're not so concerned about the the wave function as we are just about the energy. So um, we get uh, this uh, minus sign. Um, so we have a minus sign that will cancel out this minus sign. And so we have this h bar squared over 2m still out the front. And then from each of these, I'm going to go ahead and combine them into uh, one vector term instead of these components, uh, x, y, and z. Um, so I'm going to, uh, normally you'd get, well, all right, I'll write it out, an x squared plus n y squared plus nz squared, okay, 
and there's also going to be a pi squared in there um, from this pi that's in these terms, and an L squared on the bottom. So the way I'm going to write this is um, I'm just going to call this n uh, vector squared like that. All right, so here's our energy. Um, all right, so if we can come back to our original goal of getting this equation. Um, well, what is the definition of pressure? It's um, as we increase the volume that the gas is uh, contained in, the, the internal energy will go down, and uh, that depends on so the, the amount that it goes down is, is the pressure. So how much does the energy change with a change in volume? We get this weird minus sign because of um, the way pressure happened to be defined a little bit opposite from other um, of our variables. Right, and this comes from, uh, you can get this from this equation. I always remember S, V, N, I think of the 7, so that helps me remember. Um, and these are the differential parts. Um, T goes with that, goes with S, P. Okay, now here's the minus sign, that's why that one's weird. And plus, and then there's the chemical potential right there. All right. So from this, you know, so we're holding S and N constant. You know, you can bring the the V over here, and you get a minus P, and that's this equation right here. So now we're going to find the pressure based on uh, this equation for the energy. So. Now our volume, uh, we said was a cube with L on a side. So that means that this L we're actually is actually um, uh, two. Uh, it's, it's our volume to the power um, two thirds, since L to the first power is just a, um, a cube root of the volume. L to the second is two thirds, and since it's in the denominator down here. The, volume to the minus two-thirds. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take this partial derivative. Okay, so we get a minus two-thirds out the front. And we have this constant piece in here. Like that, and we have a v to the minus five-thirds. All right, so this is the definition of the, the, uh, um, the opposite of the pressure. All right, so there's a minus sign here. Um, but I'll go ahead and make that a positive and then bring that through. So now um, we need to find our PV. So we just take this this right here multiplied by v, which just returns this v back up to the uh, minus two thirds power. All right, now we see that this piece right here is actually equal to the energy. So this equals two thirds of E. All right, so now we're going to bring in this equation right here. We'll see this three halves will cancel right with this two thirds. And we have our N K T equals PV. PV here. And here we have our 
equation.